Welcome everyone to Titan FC. We are live from the Intercontinental Miami streaming on UFC Fight Pass. Let's kick off the night with action in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Carlos Espinosa. All right, to open up our main card here at Titan FC 67 is the Punisher, Carlos Espinosa. Fights out of American Top Team in Tampa. I can vouch for this school. I live in Tampa. Rafael Garcia, an amazing black belt, a very, very good instructor. He will bring great fighters to the cage every time you hire ATT Tampa. Yeah, no doubt. And he's a purple belt under him also, so his nickname's The Punisher. So, you know, he better believe that if he live up to that name, he better bring the heat. Five and three as a pro, five and one as an Amy. Coming off a win uh, off of one of Dustin Poirier's guys up in Mississippi. So, felt really good about that because, you know, Dustin is pretty much top of the heat now. So, you, be, you can knock off one of Dustin Poirier's guys. You got a lot to brag about. Yeah, no doubt. He also, Carlos Espinosa is a two-time state champ wrestler, so that's one thing, one of his key to victories that you're going to want to look for is those takedowns and stuff like that. So we're going to see Adi if his wrestling's improved. You know, Adi has amazing hands, really good fighter, but he's in there against a tough wrestler, and Carlos Espinosa in a purple belt when he gets him tonight. You and I were talking about this, Charles. Here's the first fight, and look at the quality of it already. You know, like, this is crazy quality for a first fight, and this is because... These guys are throwing everything they have into the cards. Uh, you know, it's it's a battle. They don't talk about it. It's unspoken. But the top three shows, who's got the record for the most UFC guys, UFC placements? Titan FC is in a tight battle right now, and they are just they're just really going above and beyond in the quality of their cards. Yeah, both these guys are right on the cusp for the big show. So this is one of those fights that you're going to see who's ready. And it, like you said, the kickoff of the night with these two guys is pretty amazing. I've trained with Adi for years. And, man, this guy's UFC material is UFC quality. And, uh, you know, we're going to see where these guys end up next and who gets a W. As you see him giving his final props and respect before stepping into the cage. All right, let's meet his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, Adi Halik. I, uh... Fighting out of Ground Control Academy, originally from Baltimore, Maryland, originally actually from Bosnia Herzegovina. Real, that's real original, but now out of Baltimore, Maryland. 5'9", 31 years old, weighed in at 145.8. I forgot to tell you, Espinosa weighed in at 143.8. So each fighter easily making the featherweight limit. But that's interesting. This is, a, you know, you've got a lot on this guy coming out of Bosnia, Herzegovina. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Adi actually switched over now. He's trained at Sanford MMA. So he's under the tutelage of Henry Hoof, Greg Jones, Kami Barzini. Man, he's training with the top guys, you know. His two teammates at one point were Usman and Gilbert Burns, who are fighting tomorrow night in the championship, welterweight what championship a fight. of the world. Oh, so, what a fight. man, you know, this guy, you better believe, has been there at best. I've trained with him over at American Top Team for years. And, man, this kid's a stud. He has some amazing hands, helped me get ready for a lot of UFC fights. And um, he's one of those guys that comes in there, he puts in the work, and he's obviously growing every day if he's training at these gyms. He's one of those guys who has a lot of potential, Charles. Like, he started his career at 4-0, and it's been pretty much 500 balls since. So he's trying to, he's trying to, you know, find that magic key that you found to string a bunch of wins together and then make it into the big show. Yeah, he's close. All right, cage side to get this one started, Rodolfo Roman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our opening contest of the night is in the featherweight division. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man walks in with a record of five wins, three defeats. He's a mixed martial artist who weighed in at 143.8 pounds. Fighting the La Habana, Cuba. Here is Aquí está El Punisher, Carlos S. 
Espinosa! Hands across the cage out of the red corner. This man walks in with a record of seven wins, four defeats. He's an expert in jiu-jitsu, weighed in 145.8 pounds. Fighting out of Deerfield Beach, Florida, here is Addy Halik! And when the action begins, your referee, Alan Abelis. This is crazy. Fighters. This is right, our first fight. the instructions fight. in the locker room. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch them up now, go ahead. Come out, fight. On a lot of shows, this is a co-main event. No, all right, scheduled no for three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. That's 145 pounds. Carlos Espinosa in the blue and black trunks fighting out of the blue corner. Ali, Adi Alik fighting out of the red corner with the red gloves and red trunks. Yeah, and for the fighter breakdown, Espinosa is going to want to look for the takedown. Alec is going to want to use his counter boxing, his feints, and tricks to set up the big punches on the feet. You see Chuck Eisen in Adi's corner, one of the top boxing coaches in the whole country and the whole world. And um, one of his specialties is those fakes, those feints, and those tricks. So we're going to see if Adi can establish it, and he's doing a good job establishing his range right now with the kicks. Measuring each other, testing, you know, putting a few tests out there to see how your opponent reacts, circling. Really, you know, as much as you can watch tape on people, it's only going to tell you so much as to getting in the cage and actually feeling the guy's timing. Yeah, and it's also to be noted the training partners of Adi. I mean, he's training with all UFC fighters. Get, he's over at Sanford MMA with Jared Gordon, Chaz Skelly, Sean Soriano, also a guy that I battled it out in the Octagon and also fought in glory. So he's t training with the top guys in the planet, and, um, you know, better believe he's going to be ready. <laughs> Two amazing schools. Battling for supremacy here in Florida. You see that stab kick right there by Adi. That is something that it doesn't look like much, but that soft spot in the stomach where it hits, it really, really takes the wind out of you, especially in the early rounds. It could play dividends later in the fight. Yeah, Adi wanted to close the distance just a little more in that combination. Carlos with the nice outside leg kick. That'll pay dividends later on. And you saw Adi a little bit ago just landed a nice jab. If he can get this jab going, this fight's his. I really believe that. If he can, if he can get that jab and keep that jab in his face, he's landing beautiful jabs and uh, coming back with a big hook. And there it is, beautiful combination. Yeah, Espinosa circling away from that. Oh, the big head kick, and Espinosa ducks under it. There's that Kami Barzini outside trip he attempted. Beautiful sprawl, and he gets a takedown anyways. Nice takedown by Espinosa. Way to chain that wrestling together and not just go for the one shot, but chain it together and build on it. And conversely, Adi, a great job getting back to his feet now, looking to spin to his left, get that established to the underhook, and now presses Espinosa against the cage. Yeah, Espinosa has his back in the cage, and you never want to keep your back in the cage too long. If your back's in the cage, you better assure you're losing you're losing that part of the fight. Um, Espinosa wants to dig his right arm underhook and try to spin Adi on the cage and either break off, reshoot, and get it back to the ground. But having your back in the cage isn't where you want to be right now. Pressed up against the cage. Two minutes and 20 seconds left to go here in the opener. Yeah, Adi's doing a good job with that with that right arm underhook. He's keeping it high, but he's, he's having a lot of success at the ring. So you see him push off there, and he's going to go back to his boxing. You hear Coach Chuck Eisen yelling for that, that faint jab. That's his specialty, and uh, he's landed a few times already. And if he can continue to do it, he'll be looking good. Nice stab kick there by Adi. Oof. Adi just did a great job there. He slipped his right hand and landed his own big shot right there. Yeah, nice combination to the left, right. I like how he's mixing it up, like you said, and I also like the combination. He's not just throwing one punch. And there's a kind of a desperate shot there from Espinosa from way out. Yeah, Adi's doing a good job with his range now. He got the timing of Espinosa's takedown, so. Um, Espinosa is going to have to do something a little bit different here in the later rounds if he makes it to it. Minute to go in the first round. Adi's starting to apply some pressure here. Looks a little bit bigger than Espinosa too. Trying to walk him down. He's coming forward. 
Espinosa's on his heels, and that's not a good place for Espinosa. He's eating shots as he backs up. Yeah, Adi's mixing up very well. Inside leg kicks, calf kicks, punches, feints, jabs, big combinations right there, throwing knees, um, doing everything great. Nice uppercut right there. Nice left hand from Adi. Kind of over the top. Now Espinosa. Ooh. Oh, he ate a nasty right. He ate it, though, Charles. He's okay. Got a chin on him for yes, sure, Yes, he does. That was a straight right from downtown. Slapping the left hand out there is Espinosa. Little Diaz in there. Yeah, <laughs> little Diaz going on there. Well, he's got to break it up. He's got to do something different. Even if that's frustrating, Adi. He's, he's got to break his rhythm. Adi's finding his rhythm. Yeah, Adi's doing a great job with those feints, man. I really love how he's getting to react. With oh, him. man, oh, that big two, right hand. Two rights, Charles. Good round for Adi Alik. Welcome back, everybody. Jay Adams alongside Charles Rosa. A pretty decisive first round, in our opinion, I think, for Adi Alik. He was able to walk down Espinosa when he needed to. He was the one going forward. He was the one dictating where the fight took place in the cage. And man, he had some nasty overhand rights that Espinosa just ate. And he was, yeah, he landed more punches for sure. And he's right back on that stick. He's right back. You hear his corner, Chuck Eisen telling him, back on that stick, back on that stick. And he's working the feints, working the jazz, working the kicks, mixing up very well. I love what I see out of Adi Alec. If you were in Espinosa's corner, I'm, he's, oh, Oof. nasty left. Espinosa's in trouble. He can eat a punch, but he's, he cannot take more of those. Good Adi job with the crotch. Good job recovering there yeah. by Carlos oh, Espinosa. Jeez. Carlos Espinosa can eat a shot. American top team corner imploring Espinosa to circle to the right, away from that big right hand. But Adi's got a nasty left hand too. Yeah, Adi's really technical boxing is super impressive. But honestly, what's really just as impressive is Carlos Espinosa's toughness, man. He's eating some big <laughs> shots. He's still hanging in there. And as long as you hang in there, that's the difference of a good fighter and a great fighter is the ones that can take the shots. I mean, you have to be able to take these shots to be able to fight at the highest level. That's the biggest thing in the UFC. Both these guys pretty much have the skills. Oh, sorry, Oof, Big shots. No, I didn't no, mean to interrupt you. No, I seen it. And <laughs> both these guys have, you know, take the big shots, but it's the ones at the highest level that can eat them and keep moving forward to the ones that you see fighting in the UFC. Yeah, I agree. I, I tell you, Espinosa's got to get some head movement, man. He's coming in right down the line, and Ali's got his timing down on that right hand. All right, he needs to, like, change levels or man, go shoot, shoot, you know, a takedown. Just, just got to break things up. There it is. Even this is better than where he was. Yeah, back to what I said before. Uh, Espinosa is going to want to get dig that left arm underhook and try to spin him off the cage. Uh, right now, Adi has good position on him. It looks like he's digging for he's digging for double underhooks, and if he gets him, Espinosa is going to be in a little bit of trouble. But honestly, Adi right here could just just push off the cage and just break off and go back to that strike, and that's what's working. Like I feel like this is the only spot that Espinosa could get an advantage if he gets a takedown here and gets on top. I did like how Espinosa let the knees go a little bit. We saw from our vantage point, Adi's head snap up a couple times. So, you know, he's trying to generate a little offense here. He's dug himself a little bit of a hole where he, if he doesn't put some points on the table and pull this second round out, he's probably going to have to stop Adi in the third. So, And this is where we see Adi's had the most success, right in the middle of the ring. 
boxing, counter boxing, feinting, going, tricks and feints, setting up the big shots. I like that nice outside leg kick from Espinosa. One by Adi there too. If he could take that lead leg away from Adi and give him something to think about, maybe throw off his timing a little bit if he can't put weight on that lead leg. Oh, oh there's that right hand, Charles. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Nasty one. Oh, too. he wobbled Espinosa. How is Espinosa still on his feet? That was a beautiful one, too, that put Espinosa on skates to see if he can get it back. And now he's throwing elbows. He's like, you know what? These punches aren't working. Let's start throwing some elbows. Exactly. Oh, nice combo from Espinosa. Espinosa fighting back now. Nice right hand from Espinosa. Adi's corner does not like Adi clinched up against the cage. They keep telling them break away. They like what they're seeing, like you said, at the center of the cage. And that's a good job by the corners. That's exactly what he should do. If I was in his corner, I would tell him to push off, break off, and throw those punches and do exactly what he was doing in the middle of the ring. That's where he's had the most success. But, you know, he does have his back up against the cage. He's winning this part of the fight. Maybe he's just resting his arms a little bit so he can get some distance and try to put him away. He came pretty close a couple times, but still got some work to do if he wants to get back on top of this one. Right here, one of the things you don't see us going on is that hand fighting. They're doing a good job. Adi just pushed off, got back to his range, landed that nice big one too again. Oh, Espinosa ate the left jab. Even the left jab is rocking him now. Nice, mm. nice, nice. Man, Espinosa is still in this fight, still throwing punches back, throwing the kicks. I mean, if, if Adi doesn't have his hands up there, that, that, that punch, that kick in the head gets through, he's in a little bit of trouble. But good what round a, by Adi, though. What a warrior Espinosa is. Look at this, combination to finish the round. Oof, whoa, Espinosa. Wow. Way to finish the round for Carlos Way to finish Espinosa. The round. He is not out of this fight yet. Not He's still out got of a fight. third round coming up. I don't think it's enough to take the round. It's the final 10 seconds, but boy, that's a good thing for the judges to see, the last thing they see. No, I agree with that, and it's good for the fans to see that he's still got left in the gas tank. We're in for an exciting third round, I think. Don't forget, still to come, Danny Sabatello, our current 135 champ will be fighting Damon Blackshear and Muhammad Nayamov and Olivier Murad by for the 145 title. The bantamweight title for Sabatello will not be defended tonight. Unfortunately, Blackshear did not make weight, not to his own fault. It was an airplane issue where they had to dump their fuel. Pretty serious stuff. Oh yeah, it's tough. But, so uh, that featherweight title is a title shot and the bantamweight belt will not be defended but we're still going to get to watch Daniel Sabatello step into the cage you know yeah yeah if Daniel gets if Daniel wins the fight he's the champion so I mean if, if it goes the way he wants it to that's what it is let's see if uh Espinosa can keep the momentum going that he had in the last 10 15 seconds from the second round Man, this is an awesome fight, man. That <laughs> second round was, was insanely awesome, man. That was just yes, was. pure action. We got a couple <laughs> phone booth exchanges back and forth, and uh, these guys are still slugging it out. And like you said, Espinosa's still in this fight. Now he's shaking his head no at the punches. The punches that were wobbling him in the first round, he's shaking his head no at. His corner saying, take a deep breath and go. They just want him to let hands go. They know he's behind on the scorecard. Good footwork by Adi. He's circling around, setting his shots up, going to the body now. That's the that's a big one right there. Those body shots in the third rounds, they they they're really tough. They'll take the gas out of you. Right, right now, my guess is Adi is thinking something like, what do I have to hit this guy with? Yeah, I, th I think so, too. He's probably like, man, I literally hit him with everything in the kitchen sink, but he's still in there, and he's still fighting. So and he's walking, thing, walking me down. Yeah, and Adi has to be, keep his hands up and be cautious because this fight isn't over yet. Espinosa with the elbow. Oh, 
You hear Espinosa's corner yelling the pressure to keep it going forward. I mean, he really needs to look for a big shot. Oh. There's a big body <laughs> kick right to the liver. <laughs> <laughs> Better believe Adi felt that, but he's still on that, back on that stick. Now Espinosa kind of Nick Diazing him. Espinosa's corner is yelling that Adi's hurt, and it looked like he landed two liver shots in a row, so he very well could be, and you see him go for the takedown there. Beautiful stuff from Espinosa. Yeah, man, big third round. He landed two hard liver shots that Adi's feeling right now. I can assure you that. Here's the challenge, though, for Espinosa. Even if he wins the round with two minutes and 40 seconds left to go, did Adi take those first two rounds? Most likely. Tough. That would be such a shame if it does go the distance for Espinosa. Well, well Espinosa is setting up that guillotine. Both these guys are purple belts in jiu-jitsu. Um, you know, Adi under... Henzo Gracie school, but then he's he's putting it on him. This is his chance to do. The referee did not stop the action. <laughs> I it, think there was a knee to the head there, but uh, the ref didn't call it, so keep fighting. You don't ever stop in the middle of a fight. You fight, you fight. If the ref wants to stop it, you listen to him, but that's, that's, that's it. Protect yourself at all times. Everybody knows that. Yeah, it's a little bit of a a little bit of a shame for Espinosa because he had Adi in a much better position during the knee. Uh, but he's got a minute and 45 seconds to try to stop Adi. Yeah, he needs a finish here if he wants to. He's been he's doing great this third round. It looks like he's actually winning the third round, but he needs to he needs more than that. I think he's down two rounds to none. So unless he gets a 10-8 round for a draw or he gets a knockout, um, he's not going to be walking home with a victory tonight. And this is what you do in training camp every day. This is where it all comes down. This is why you put in that extra work, those extra rounds. You work really hard every day, show up to those extra practices. Is for this last minute of the fight. This is it right here. It's the final countdown. It's like the last lap in a marathon. And both of these guys are drained. These guys are exhausted. It's a close fight on paper. Neither one of these guys can take. Oh, Ooh. nice spinning elbow there from Espinosa. Neither one of these fighters can take anything for granted here. We've seen weirder decisions. So, you know, it could be very well that they give a 10-8 round to Espinosa because he's really kind of put it on Adi right now. Adi now smartly shoots the double, but from too far out, didn't set it up. I think, oh, I think Adi's hurt. Adi's hurt. I did get 30 seconds to fight for his life right here. If he can do it and survive this, he'll be in good shape. But beautiful job by Espinosa, man. Espinosa. Hats off to him, man. Hats this kid's not a quitter. He's tough as nails, and he's showed it this entire fight, and he's hung in there, and he's given himself a chance to, you know, be back in the scorecards. How is this the first fight on our card? It's definitely. I mean, definitely <laughs> fight of the night so far. Fight of the night material. Oh my if we goodness. get some more like this, we're in good shape. Oh, my goodness. We are all standing for that one. Standing for that one. What a fight. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was a war.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. And all of, our judge, all of our judges scored it 29, 28 for your winner by way of unanimous decision, Adi Hali. Adi. Adi. Well, that's the way we had it. Adi clearly won the first two rounds. And Espinosa clearly won. Hey, Adi Ali, I'm here with the winner, Adi Ali. Man, incredible fight of the night performance. Really amazing boxing skills. I saw the combinations, the feints, the tricks coming out. Is this what you were looking for tonight? I mean, we were expecting him to be this tough. Hey, look, he's tough. He took some good shots. Of course, you know, I wanted to finish. Third round, I got poked in the eye. I couldn't see him, but it is what it is. I kept moving forward. I just got to say, Sanford all day, baby. Awesome, man. Incredible performance. You battled through it. Congratulations. Enjoy the night. Everyone, hear it up for Adi Ali.